Hi, welcome to DHS Informatics. Today we are going to see about machine learning. The topic is understanding machine learning. We are planning to bring up many parts. This is the part one introduction. Uh, this is uh, Saravana Rajan. Here we are seeing many uh, titles machine learning, neural network, data mining, artificial intelligence, big data, lot of things. All these things having a common relation called knowledge engineering. Knowledge engineering is a big topic. Knowledge means nothing but data. Engineering means intelligence. That means data intelligence. Or in, uh, with the help of the data, we are creating the intelligent decision that also we can able to call. Under this knowledge engineering only, we are having data mining, data analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, um, what else, expert system, all these things are comes under this knowledge engineering only. Consider an example, uh, two students, they completed MBBS MS in the same college. They studied from the childhood or not same school, same mark like that. Now, both are opening a clinic in a same place. But one guy is getting a more percent and another guy is not getting a more percent. What is the reason behind the thing? They are, both their knowledge is equal. But the intelligent is not same, no? It is different, no? Based on the intelligent only, their earnings will be depends. Even though knowledge is same, intelligence is also matter. Okay, similarly, one more example I can able to tell you. One guy is a, having IQ level, he is a very high in this world. He is a very intelligent guy. But uh, he is not studied MBBS MS. So that he can't do surgery, you know. So that here what we need, intelligent also needed, data also needed. Without data, intelligent no use. But we are having much intelligent and uh, we are having much knowledge. But the intelligence is less, that is also not practically going to help. This is a concept. And one more thing, today we are going to see that uh, machine learning introduction. Many interesting thing I am going to cover you. Uh, before entering into this session, uh, one reminder, you are not registered our channel. I am requesting you to register. Then only you will get the next next our videos you will able to get. In machine learning, I am plan we are planning to come up with them, uh, more sessions and we are going to introduce uh, Python uh, with this uh, machine learning. Okay. Now, you are seeing that uh, graph, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. Okay. Now, consider one example. Now, we are playing a chess game with computer. When you move the coin, that uh, computer also will move the coin. That is uh, artificial intelligence. Now, they are developing a chess game with machine learning. Here also, we move the coin, that also move the coin like that but in the artificial intelligence from the beginning itself it will give the tough fight to us whereas in the machine learning or uh, machine learning chess game first two three games we can able to easily win that but after that it will learn from this experience uh, and it is giving a tough fight to us so that what is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning means in artificial intelligence we have to code for each and everything we have to code uh, what is the co which co coin we are using for that coin what is the weightage which place it is there all these things we have to do programmatically in machine learning not like that uh, it is a auto learning system will be there programming is very simple it will learn by practice that is a machine learning i can able to say all the artificial intelligence projects are not machine learning project but all the machine learning projects are artificial intelligence projects you got it okay clear no now similarly deep learning what is a deep learning it is a neural network uh, you want to make the difference between uh, artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning here face recognition face recognition we are having in 1987 itself they started the face recognition that they started with the computer vision with artificial intelligence they created that is you can see in the old movies uh, uh, when they are uh, arresting the criminal they will take a photo in a straight angle left angle right angle that is a right profile and left profile they will take now so that they will able to match the any face with that angle only when the machine learning come into the picture 
it is not needed like that we want in that angle any angle also we can able to understand but the accuracy is more or less same like artificial intelligence only it will give okay because machine learning also artificial intelligence now deep learning is a neural network neural network means it will be idea it will be act like a human brain human brain is a neural network now here even though with the with uh, with less uh, samples and data only it will think like a a human it will be predict comparing to the machine learning phase recognition deep learning phase recognition give the more accuracy that is called the uh, deep learning similarly all the machine learning projects is not deep learning but all the deep learning projects are machine learning project this is a subset artificial intelligence we started in the year 1950 itself it started and machine learning started in 1980 whereas the deep learning started in 20 uh, 2010 only it is started this is the evolution of the machine learning now what can machine do that is a instead of using a machine learning what our machine can do it take decision just like humans okay uh, uh, what type of uh, decisions it will take uh, for example i am having that uh, window system okay automatic window system there is a uh, rain is coming automatically window will be closed when to open when to close based on the thing it will take the decisions when the when it is a uh, wind blowing also it will be closed like that it will able to take the decisions not only like that uh, it will it will able to take the decision whether this particular person going to affect with this uh, type of disease or not that also it will able to predict it help the human in doing that uh, task of daily living uh, example you can say for example routine our routine even i can able to store my uh, routine work in the alexa alexa can able to help me what mail i, I am getting the thing what is important news uh, in which way i have to go to my office all this thing it will able to tell no that is a uh, daily living it will help and we built a smart ecosystem where uh, user get feedback and system can update their actions uh, you can uh, ha- you can consider the smart farming i uh, suppose i am having one big farm house okay with the help of the soil moisture sensor it will able to understand what is the moisture in the soil based on that it will automatically pump the water into the my field and uh, if the water is uh, coming sufficient it will be stop and when there is a less humidity it will automatically rotate the fans when there is a, a heavy temperature it will put the shield protection for the plants like that it will be it can, it can do automatically and send the what what is the action to to the to my mobile like that it is able to do the things we develop a technology to learn from the human behavior okay uh, in uh, using uh, artificial intelligence i am creating a robot i have to program like that during the time it has to come and take my cl- uh, cloth cloth from my room and put it in the wa- washing machine okay but i have to place my cloth every day in the same place then only it will work up but using the machine learning i can keep my system as a observation mode and i can keep the cloth here and there and whatever the places uh, i am taking and uh, putting into the washing washing machine it will observe so that it will understand wherever my cloth is there it will care, take it and and put it in a washing machine not in the particular place that is the big difference between the artificial intelligence and machine learning again you can it will give the clear explanation of the artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning artificial intelligence a technique which enable machines to mimic human behavior the main thing of artificial intelligence is a uh, robotics we can see no robots uh, it will walk like a human it will be uh, communicate with us like a human it will give seconds like that no mimic like a human machine learning it is a subset of the artificial intelligence which uses the statistical method to enable the machine to improve with experience uh, here the statistic is coming into the picture statistics means calculations uh, based on that calculation and based on the previous experience uh, it will improve auto auto learning system is there in the machine learning uh, deep learning it is a subset of the ml which makes the computations of the multi layer neural network uh, here the multiple layer will be there so that the accuracy will be more than the machine learning in the deep learning so, okay hope you got it what is machine learning learning is 
any process by which a system improves performance from experience. Uh, consider the thing, I am uh, conducting a, uh, on a training to the small uh, child. Uh, I am telling that it is a blue color, yellow color, red color, purple color. Uh, after a training over, I will uh, ask the child which is the red color. It may take a purple also. I will tell no, no, it is wrong. It is a purple. It is a red. Again, I am conducting a test. Again, uh, it will do wrong means again I am trying and again I am doing the testing. By course of action, that child will pick the red color and purple color correctly. No? That is called the machine learning. You can see many kids are telling the 100, more than 100 country flags correctly and the 100 countries capital correctly. They have to provide the practice that uh, each time they pro after the training is over, they will conduct the test. In the test, the child will be came to know whether it is a correct or wrong that is called experience based on the experience it will it will improve its performance in the next test that is the concept of the machine learning okay machine learning is concerned with the computer programs that automatically improve their performance through experience same thing what i told you using the algorithms that interactively uh, iteratively sorry using the algorithm that iteratively learn from data Machine learning allow computer to find hidden insight without being explicitly programmed where to look. Okay, so that we no need to touch the coding. It will automatically, if the more answers are goes wrong, means it will automatically uh, change their pattern and it will be try to give the best output as much as possible. So that the programming is very easy in machine learning. Why machine learning? We saw earlier what is machine learning. Now we are say, uh, going to see about the why machine learning. Develop a system that can automatically adapt and customize themselves to individual users. Personalized uh, news or ma uh, mail filter. Okay. Now in Google, I am searching for a uh, best restaurant in uh, Bangalore. Okay. It will give the one five top restaurant. Suppose you are searching, for you also it will give the same result only. There is no personalization. For example, I am the vegetarian, you are the non-vegetarian. So that you, you want to list the non-vegetarian hotel uh, top. I am a vegetarian, I want to list the vegetarian hotel top. No, that is called personalization. Some people may like the action movie. Some people may like the horror movie. Similarly, it will give the same result. No, that is called personalized data we need. That is called machine learning is very important. Discover the new knowledge from large uh, databases. Uh, market basket analysis. Okay, now you consider Big Bazaar. In Big Bazaar, uh, in a day, more than uh, 1 lakh billings are happening. Huge data. Their product will be more than uh, 5 lakhs products will be there in their uh, market. Okay. Now, we want to identify which are the frequently purchased item. The example I am giving you now, diaper and beer analysis. What is meant by diaper beer analysis? They conducted using the data is a famous analysis. They identified that whoever purchased the diaper, they are also purchasing the beer. So that how it will be going to help you in the sense, whenever you are going to check the stock of the diaper and giving the order, you have to check the stock of the beer and you have to place the uh, place the order for the beer also. So that this is a relation. For example, we can able to say the thing, you no. Know, whenever we, we are going to buy a uh, orange, we will purchase apple also. So that say there is a, some relationship between the orange and apple like that. Uh, it is a simple for the fruit example I can able to say when you consider that there are uh, 5 lakh products are in a super uh, supermarket how they can able to identify the thing so that is called data mining they, they will use a priori algorithm uh, FE growth algorithm for frequent item purchase like that uh, ability to mimic human and uh, replace certain monotonous task uh, which requires some intelligence uh, okay uh, for example uh, you, uh, it has to repeat uh, for example we have to say uh, in a receptionist, we have to keep uh, uh, one human. He has to say welcome uh, all the guests. Uh, welcome to this uh, function occasion. And he has to welcome all the people. Morning, he will be very fresh. He will welcome with enthusiasm. But he has to standing for a continuously long time. In the afternoon, evening, he become dull. But uh, I am keeping a human like humanoid robot and uh, it is very difficult to identify it is a robot or human. It will give the same expression throughout the day, no? 
that is the thing this is a monotrasons work no that is the thing it is telling the thing like recognizing handwritten characters for example uh, uh, paper correction and uh, we want to recognize the handwritten also it is a very tedious for a teacher's correction morning they will correct the paper enthusiastically but, but the last paper their correction their enthusiasm will go no for that also we can use the thing develop the system that are too difficult and expensive to construct manually uh, because they require specific detailed skill or knowledge tuned to specific task knowledge engineering bottleneck what is the thing means uh, even that the question answer correction system also it is a very difficult okay in the in that thing students may write uh, not in the same format okay no they will write in their own words also they will write uh, they will ch change the pattern also they will write no even during that time also the computer has to identify whether that uh, answer is correct or not no that is called the bottleneck in the uh, machine learning but human can able to easily understand that guy is uh, writing correctly or wrong but the uh, computer to understand the thing it is very difficult for that only machine learning is needed even that machine learning these are the challenging they are improving the machine learning very much machine learning applications you are seeing a lot of things here no image processing computer vision uh, diagnosis uh, bioinformatics uh, um, natural language processing search engine information retrieval like that there are huge applications are there in machine learning google search engine also it uses machine learning and the natural language processing that is uh, for example you are you are uh, typing a uh, one sentence in one language it will convert to another language you know that is called natural language processing voice recognition also comes under natural language processing like that many things are the recommender system personalized recommender system it has to recommend the uh, product based on your previous behavior for example uh, some customers are using a uh, apple mobile some customers are using a android mobile so that the apple mobile user we have to recommend differently for the samsung mobile users we have to our android mobile users we have to use the recommend them separately you know that is called personalized recommender system like that multiple things are there in machine learning application it's a vast it's a fast growing field examples i told you know google translate it is comes under natural language processing so that the google translate will automatically translate uh, from any any language to another language it will be translate the thing it will translate the text uh, speech uh, and uh, other video languages also it will be it able to translate google voice search uh, suppose i am asking uh, one thing uh, 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 show me the nearest uh, hotels in my place uh, so that it has to under it has to convert your voice into text converting the voice into text itself a big deal because indian will speak different uh, with a different accent and the american will speak in the different accent no so that for that machine learning is very, very important uh, after it, it will converting your voice into the text uh, then it will do the machine learning process uh, or searching process based on that it, it will recommend the hotels to you and uh, now you are seeing that in uh, gmail uh, whenever you receive any mail you open the thing uh, in the mail down there will be uh, three boxes will be there okay it is called a smart reply smart reply what is going to be smart reply in the sense uh, it is not coming same to all the mail it will say based on your content it will say thank you i got the information i will come back to you soon uh, thanks for your information like that, it will come the changing uh, that uh, boxes will have the different different message it will be very easy for us uh, just to click and reply so that it will become very easy for us no need to type also that is called the google inbox smart smart reply rank brain it is very important for example how many search engines are there many people doesn't know we all are using google only but there are many things are there uh, google search engine yahoo search engine bing alta vista like that multiple search engines are there but uh, more than 90 percent of the people we are using google why google means their ranking system is uh, excellent compared to the other search engine that means what we need that result will come in the top consider earlier google used the click based search engine what is the click based searching process ranking process means uh, 
uh, which I am asking that uh, which is the best uh, hotel in, in the city based on the how many people clicked on that hotel uh, on the search engine based on it will give the ranking it will come that will not work when one new hotel come it is excellent that hotel but very few people only enter into the hotel it will not come in the first no but google change their process and they are using the machine learning technique even though there is no much user visited that site based on the replay and based on the review it will have the ranking process and it will understand the insight of that review meaning and it will rank the hotel and it will come if it is performing good means it will come top that is a ranking brain it is also using the machine learning in machine learning there are three segment unsupervised learning supervised learning and reinforcement learning like that three segments are there in machine learning okay unsupervised learning what is meant by unsupervised learning in the sense uh, we usually we are having a data the data is not uh, uh, labeled then we have to undergo with the unsupervised learning only uh, what is meant by labeling uh, i am giving a one uh, one thousand face images without uh, telling that he belongs to which country suppose i am telling among the thousand this 300 belongs to india this uh, 300 belongs to america this 400 belongs to africa i am giving the uh, label to the data then it is called uh, supervised learning but i am giving the thousand faces uh, without any label then we have to group it indian faces separately african separately american separately that comes under the clustering so that we have to make the cluster these faces belongs to one category this is second category this is the third category then we have to label category one is indian category two is uh, american category three is african like that that is called a clustering okay now where the clustering technique will be go customer segmentation uh, for example uh, in a bank they are planning to give the loan to the customer to whom they have to give the loan approach them to ask them to get the loan and whom they should not give the loan that is a big question no because uh, some guy is a uh, performance is uh, not paid uh, uh, interest uh, emi properly he is not uh, he is giving a lot of uh, uh, ch bouncing check uh, then we should not ask him for the loan no it is a problem no so that we have to give all his uh, transaction details to the system it will cluster into two category a category b category a category people for uh, having a civil score good and their performance is good we can give the loan to them and b category don't give the loan like that we can able to do that is called clustering thing and uh, targeted marketing same thing we can able to go for the one um, one new product is introduced okay introducing for example apple is going to come with an uh, is a 12th version to only 10 model they are going to uh, they are only uh, one 200 mobiles only coming to the uh, uh, city okay then to whom they can be able to go and market them that is called targeted marketing for that also it will work a recommendation system based on your past experience and uh, behavior it will able to recommend the proper things to you that is called recommender system dimensionality reduction okay uh, here the structure discovery meaningful comparison big data visualization feature elicitation all these things are coming now here what is going to be the dimensional reduction in the sense uh, suppose I am going to here we call it as an each one as a feature uh, uh, for example I am I am go, you are you are planning to go for a military selection okay in the military selection they will mention you what is your height uh, what is your weight uh, how much uh, uh, seconds you take for to cover the 100 meter 400 meter how much time you take for the climb the wall and uh, what is your score in the gun shooting all these things they will give based on the machine learning algorithm it will able to decide that you can recruit or not okay same feature suppose i am taking for a uh, recruitment for a one uh, python developer i don't want your height and weight no that feature is not needed here each one is called feature your height weight for military it is needed for it job that feature is not needed no that is called structure discovery what is needed for which purpose that is the thing that is they will able to uh, able to remove that uh, thing 
and meaningful compression also suppose one image will be very big i want to reduce the data of the image and make it even though i am reducing the size of the data but quality should be maintained that is a meaningful compression like that lot of things we can able to do it in a dimensionality reduction we can do coming here to the supervised learning we have the classification i told you know image classification is comes under the classification with the clustering i told you thousand faces i given to you it will be labeled this 300 is uh, indian this is uh, african this is american so that i have to give all these uh, things to the classification algorithm based on all these faces it will be built on model keep it ready then i am giving a one face image as a input it will tell whether it is a uh, american or it is indian or african or no match we trained for only for three uh, these three countries only it will able to identify among these three only i am giving a chinese face it will say no match it is not matching like that will able to say like that uh, fraud deduction based on your uh, credit card transaction it will able to identify whether this transaction is a fraud or not diagnostic like a heart disease prediction diabetes disease prediction lung cancer prediction like that lot of things we can do regression based on the regression we can able to do the prediction uh, prediction for example uh, yeah, you are uh, your final exams are going to come in so I, I, you want to predict that what mark you are going to take in subject a subject b subject c we have to give your previous marks all your previous mark it will give based on that you will able to predict that what mark you are going to get so that where it will be able to use for example on school is having a sslc exam is going to come okay they can able to use the predict analysis uh, uh, maybe it will showing that the one 10 students are going to be filed in the exam they can able to take that student give them more extra training and make them to pass in the exam no? for that they can able to use forecasting weather forecast stock market uh, forecasting uh, flight delay forecasting flight fat forecasting like that lot of things we can able to do with the regression okay reinforcement learning it is a new area still lot of development is happening in the reinforcement learning for example mainly they are using in the gaming system artificial intelligence based games and the real time decision for example you consider uh, our uh, um, uh, enemy country is uh, uh, attacking us with their own missile that missile of the na nature of the thing it will change its route dynamically it will not coming in the straight it will be keep changing so that we are we are launching a attacking mail to go the things uh, it will we can't able to uh, lock the target and we can able to able to send because it keep changing no so the real time decision means every 5 seconds it will find the location of the uh, opposite term missile and based on that it will change its route that is called real time decision it will change it and it will go and attack the missile like that it will do the things sir robot navigation so based on the situation it has to be navigate not in the always fixed line no all these things comes under the reinforcement learning in the factories they are using robot to pick the um, uh, goods from one place to another place that is a fixed that is artificial intelligence in machine learning robot navigation means it has to change its route automatically for example in a big uh, um, uh, supermarket or a, a mall big mall i am having a robot system it has to uh, take the kids uh, and it has to go around the mall when the opposite side whenever the humans are coming walking it has to change its route automatically that is called reinforcement learning it have the decision making that is the thing okay the concept of learning in a machine learning system what is the thing means uh, the definition you want to ask me the one definition for the machine learning means learning is equal to improving with experience at some task now i am given one example here the improve over the task t now you are you are uh, going to write a one exam for that you are learning that is the thing you are studying after that you are writing the exam that writing exam i can call it as a task for that exam you will get an one mark that is called performance measure p based on your mark you will get some experience no yes i did this exam correctly no i have to read more i am not doing the exam correctly i want to prepare in another method like that you will prepare no that is called experience that experience will involve with your next learning then it will improve your performance next time it is a chain process until the optimum optimum solution you are getting it will be going to happen that is the definition of the machine learning here the machine learning process flow 
first thing data without data machine learning is nothing okay i told you know knowledge also needed intelligence also needed in the beginning okay first we need the data that data we have to pre um, pre process the data that is called prepare the data unwanted thing we have to remove and duplicate values you have to remove lot of thing we have to we have to do the thing after we are having a source data and we pre process the data for example i want to predict uh, whether this uh, one uh, uh, one patient is uh, going to have the uh, diabetics or not okay now 1000 patient record i collected is age sex body mass index cholesterol level everything i taken that is a prepared data and label also there you can able to understand that label means uh, 0 means he is not having diabetic 1 means he is having diabetic so real data only we are taking the things sir what is the train the model means what it will do means usually that 1000 records will be divided into 80% and 20% that 80% means 800 record will be taken to the training model that 800 record will go we have to apply one machine learning algorithm uh, example random forest algorithm decision tree algorithm logistic regression algorithm like that i have to apply the algorithm so that internally it will be test the data n number of time it will give the optimum model it will give okay that is a that is a trained model will give the validate model that validate model i have to give the test data test data means the 200 record i am having no even though i know the 200 people label that is a zero means he is not having diabetic one means he is having diabetic i will remove that label i'll give my system going to the trained model that which produce validate model no that will going to give the value for the thing it will predict the value it's a zero or one but i know the real thing also out of 200 180 is matching with the real data then 90% accuracy my trained model so that once it reaches the above 90% it is a good then we can able to deploy the model for the real purpose if it is not giving the accuracy again we have to refine again some problem may be happen in the source data in our trained model we have to change the algorithm why it is happening whether there is a problem with the data all these thing we have to go okay like that we have to do the things okay how our uh, next uh, thing is a uh, data processing next video i am going to launch is a uh, data processing so that there are many parts going to become it is like uh, your machine learning course uh, it is going to happen so that i am requesting you you can uh, no, you are not subscribed our channel subscribe our channel so that only you will get our next continuous videos we are going to get and uh, you let me know how was this video in the comment section type it so that it will me boost me up and i can give the more videos to you if you like this video press the like button thank you for listening